Aaron McDonald back with you again with the Solution Revolution. This time uh, we're in kind of another pretty cool uh, location. I'm kind of attempting to, to pilot the Steve Irwin here of the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society and joining me is James Brook. Hey James. Hey there. A lot of people have a problem with radical action. Like I said, they kind of, they need to wait for it to be sanctioned. Hmm. You know, initially people know Sea Shepherd ram ships, they sink ships, all this dangerous stuff. But then when they look close and we say, well, we've never hurt anybody, you know, the ships that we're sinking, that's done because they're, you know, they're, they're, they're hunting elite, you know, endangered species and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, then people can sort of weigh it up. You know, there, there's sort of a, a, a more natural law and that, that's perhaps why we get a lot of support, as you're saying, you know, people realise that what we're doing is, um, you know, the whalers, for example, in, in Antarctica, they, they say that they're, they're doing research. You know, that's their excuse. Mm. But um, everybody knows that that's just a loophole and it's just, you know, a way they've found their way through the law to be able to justify it to themselves. But even though in the whalers' eyes what they're doing is legal, I think people realise that we have the moral high ground, mm. the sea shepherd. But also I would add that um, everything we do, we always have a law on our side, so we use a lot of international environmental laws um, to justify the actions we do and um, also we're very careful not to hurt anybody so yeah. you know we, we don't we don't have a problem doing property damage but um you know if that's going to help be effective and and stop um, some sort of illegal fishing that's going to be putting a species extinct so that, um, you know us with sea shepherd doing what we're doing it's good we can be effective in the small areas we operate in but it's not going to be enough to um to stop the massive amount of species extinction that's happening and it's not going to be enough to um, stop the climate change that's going on. So it's, you know, the thing I've found is that individuals really can make a difference and, um, you know, you might think just one person just doing something and contacting another ten people isn't that going to be that effective, but it really is.